Right here are some septic pipes. And uh, we're gonna show you guys a hack on how to find a septic tank right now. All right guys, so you're gonna need a few parts. Come on down. We have a 3 8 outside diameter copper pipe. We have a quarter inch to a half inch MNPT. Now what I did was I pulled this out of the package here. Okay. And this is a, a shark bite fitting. So even though this says a quarter and this is a 3 8, I think this is a, a quarter inside di diameter and this is a 3 8 outside diameter. So this works. So that will plug into there. Okay. This will plug into here. Okay. And then we have a dishwasher, or sorry, a washer hose that will plug into here. Okay. And that allows us to turn our uh, hose on and off with a quarter inch turn. And then we're going to show you guys how this will all work. All right, guys. So we got everything hooked up. We've got a minor leak, but that's not going to hurt nothing. Um, and we got our copper line nice and straight. Now notice I put two marks on it here. Put one at 24 inches and one at 36 inches. And what that does is uh, typically a septic tank's in between 24 and 36 inches. So we'll know if we get down below this line right here that the tank's probably not there, okay? But just to give you an illustration of how this works, okay? So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna start our water and we're just gonna slowly tap on the ground, okay? And this is just gonna start going down. And I mean, sometimes you might hit a root, sometimes you might hit a rock. You can see how this is just going straight down into the ground here. And we're getting close to our 36 inch line. Okay, so we can kind of guarantee that, that that septic tank's not there. You can see we can keep going. So uh, our septic tank's not there, so we're just gonna keep poking around till we find it. And uh, for more hacks and tips, please subscribe. All right, guys, so uh, of course we got our, our little pipe apparatus. All right, so I'll just show you guys the difference. We already found our septic tank. We're just looking for the edge now so that we know where to cut a hole in this patio cover. So somebody poured this concrete over the septic tank and now we have to find the manhole. So what I did was I drilled holes in the crack, the stress crack, that way it doesn't look as obvious. Um, sometimes you can't, but we did. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna turn this water on here. And we went down past our lines, both lines, so we know it's not in there. We went down past the lines here. And then this hole, you can hear it. Come on in, Tommy. You can hear it hitting the concrete there. And you can see we're, we're not past our lines. So, we know the edge of the septic tank is right here somewhere. So we're gonna have to cut the concrete out here to get our other manhole cover. Typically septic tanks have two manhole covers and a lot of them have a middle divider. So to pump the tank, you have to find the manhole that's closest to the house. All right guys, using our probe, our custom homemade probe, we figured out where this, uh, the side of this septic tank was. So we cut a hole and lo and behold, doesn't happen very often, but we put the hole exactly where it needed to be. All right, guys, come on down. We're uh, gonna show you guys the top of this uh, septic tank here. As you can see, it's kinda...
Kowalski. Guys, for more tricks and trade secrets, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.